fact just join me on this mission i don't want to be alone join me let us be more and more youtubers that are defending nigeria kenneth Mwache is one of them kenneth oh god my guy i do i can't wait to meet you soon so kenneth was in ghana he was one of those youtubers that was in ghana struggling so he did what he could do in ghana to survive so kenneth Mwache, your brother man you're doing well <laughs> Accra is where you find the best of the best nightlife in Africa. This guy can lie. You don't influence a Nigerian easily, except of course you're using money. That's the only time we lose control. So if you see a Nigerian hating or feeling pain about their country, it is because it is pain. Am. It's me again, and my name is Lillian. That is if you're new. But if you are returning, thank you for coming back. And I hope you're subscribed to the channel. If you have not, kindly do so. So I especially appreciate all of you that have been on this channel for a very long time. Thank you so much. I made an announcement video that, that there are going to be a little changes here and there on my content style for now until after the election in Ghana. So in case you didn't see the video, I am sorry. I already announced it that there will be changes in my content. So I'm going on break from posting about some of the public sectors in Ghana and I want to use this opportunity that I have this time that I have to talk about my own country because I mean why not justice for Nigeria and congratulations to my fellow Nigerians especially those that have been criticizing me and others for not promoting Nigeria now I have the time because I'm on break I am going to channel my energy towards my my country but do not blame me because i'm going to post what i see i wasn't raised to lie i wasn't raised to call black blue just because i'm ashamed of what other people would think of my country i do not have shame if my country do not have shame for not giving me good education for not providing me with good head facility for not providing me with something as basic as electricity for not providing me something as my right as a road to my house do not provide me with something important as security i also do not have shame to talk about these things that they are not giving to me so i i hope you understand since my spotlight is on nigeria it simply means that whatever we see it will bring it here we see good which i don't think we will see i'll bring it here for me i hate to do what others are doing i have seen a couple of persons do video about the red line the blue line in lagos that has become the only thing to be promoted in nigeria and lily is not part of it because come on i am too creative to copy from others usually i always set the trends i'm used to being the first to talk about something and have others follow so do you understand so if you don't see me talk about the blue red or red line in lagos it's not like i do not know about its existence but it is because i am too good to do what you guys are doing every day it has become the only thing to console yourself to know because for me blue line red line purple line yellow line black line white line is not my business my business have always been that my country should protect me from some men whose parents refuse to raise to see women as human my complaint my demand has always been for my country to provide me with electricity so that i can use it to build my life i don't have to travel to go live in another african country my country should provide me with no it's okay don't give me road i'll manage in another video i'll show you guys the road to my hometown and i don't want to complain much about that yeah call me selfish i will take it but if my government could give me electricity security basic health care i will manage the road like that but they are not giving me so it's fine so in the absence of all the things that i want from my government but they can't give to me i'm going to use the time i have to promote one thing that nigeria have successfully got for herself and that is people my fellow human 
human being people's husbands and wives forcing me to promote nigeria nigeria has successfully achieved that well in fact nigeria do not lack people on youtube that forces other people to promote nigeria nigeria is blessed in this aspect i won't lie so today i'm going to in turn listen to them and promote them where do i start from i will start from a an african guy who comes from a country whose president has been ruling for the past 40 years the president of his country is older than him like he has been in power before he was born in his country they struggle with electricity insecurity and stuff but i will not talk about them because from that country comes amazing people some of the most amazing incredible kindest people that i have met so i won't talk about that country i will leave it but one of the persons that is working hard for nigeria at all costs as if his life depends on it he works so hard as if if i promote my country it's going to help unseat his president in his own country let's take a look at him together finally finally we are seeing results you understand congratulations to us we are doing it some of you think that we are not doing it we are doing it you understand yeah because finally we are seeing a lot of nigerian youtubers now who are speaking good about nigeria we are seeing more new youtubers more people who are just starting youtube from nigeria majority of them now they are now seeing the need to start speaking positive about nigeria this has never been happening before i'm telling you guys you as a nigeria you know that this is true before before once in nigeria pick up their phone to start doing youtube or to start doing vlogging or to start becoming a blogger the only thing they do was spread negative things about nigeria because they saw it from their mentors that that is what made their their, their platforms to grow that's what made them successful all the successful bloggers in nigeria uh insta blog insta blog nigeria if you go to insta blog eh, every post you will be seen on insta blog will be something negative this one has happened to nigeria nigeria don't do this one nigeria police don't do this one nigeria government don't do this one insta blog that is the whole thing they do i don't know why nigerians are so happy with it and then you go under their comment section every nigeria is hailing this country this country in order not to forget some points Ajim, the reason we do that in my country is because we have freedom to do so which you do not have and i don't see you <laughs> having that in your own country so in nigeria my own country we are free to talk about our pain to complain to unseat our presidents we have that power at least we have that so i understand how it feels for you your frustration because you do not know that you can never relate you dare not do that in cameroon right so i get it so just to clear your confusion why nigerians are free to talk about our country the way we so wish to talk about it is because we are free bonds do you understand man <laughs> i think maybe this is why you admire the country so much you love us you want us you but you can never be a nigerian <laughs> anyways let's go back not being nigerian is not even a bad thing actually but for someone who wants to be anyways let's continue to listen to this man it is toxic you know if you you continuously feed your nigerians with negative information about the country always making them not to love anything about their country always making them to have a negative feeling about their country that is what you're, if you notice any nigerian that if you're a nigerian that you have been a yeah i mean you they follow all those insta blog all those negative bloggers you understand you will automatically have something in your heart that is always you know it will pay you every time it goes, it's like a bro oh no 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 Achim, my boy nigerians are not bitter about nigeria because of what we read it is because of what we go through and for the fact that we are free bonds we are so it's not because of what we read it is because of what we see and what we are going through okay so just to educate you because you need that <laughs> Do you understand okay you don't influence a nigerian easily except of course you're using money that's the only time we lose control so if you see a nigerian hating or feeling pain about their country it is because it a pain them. we know how we feel do you understand well i don't expect you to do <laughs> let's continue burden in your heart you always feel like your country is a burden your patriotism goes down because every time you hear your country name you will 
you go they pain you you go just vex you understand you go just be like wow what is good about this country because of what bloggers and people around you have constantly put in your brain it is true many of you can testify many nigerians have come to me and say ajim until i started following you that's when i started realizing that eh, there are good things in my country if i do not follow you, it's when i came started following ajim that i started that my mind started changing a little bit about nigeria because of the the the, the information where they don't feed everybody feed everybody and these blogs are very one of the most successful you understand that is some of us celebrate very dark man but somehow somehow it's true that what he's doing is selecting people who are doing negative things and you are not you understand but at the same time he also needs to be selecting those nigerians who are doing very good things to inspire other nigerians to do more good things that's how it's supposed to be but first of all i want to say that i'm very very happy that nigerian youtubers are changing and i'll give some names i'll give some names those who have seen changing those who have been following those who have been talking with and i'll give them a shout out and i'll celebrate them but first of all my guys first of all my guys one woman just gave me a lot of joy one nigerian lady you understand i'm giving you a special shout out my dear i'm giving you a special shout out yeah a special one at that because you deserve it you deserve it my dear sister you're one of those new youtubers that are coming into the youtube industry the youtube game and you took your time to analyze you took your time to think to understand what is actually going on and decided to do good you know we are youtubers some of us let me be honest with you guys some youtubers don't have conscience all they care is what i can say to have more views that's all they think about if they have to say anything that will give them more views they don't care they will say it they don't think of is it good for my country is it negative for my country how will it put the reputation of my country no they don't care they just know that ah if i talk this one i will give me more views that joy will jump on it and do without thinking i'm not like that many youtubers are like that but a few of us are changing from that because we are beginning to realize that at the end of the day reputation matters at the end of the day it's not just views it's not just money it's not just the income you make on youtube but the impact of what you're doing what do you stand for where do you belong the movement what impact are you creating on the society you understand people need to start thinking like that before dropping content so this lady she analyzed my videos, analyzed my past where I'm coming from, and she did defend me when many Nigerian YouTubers were coming for me. Many Nigerian YouTubers came for me from Ghana, came from me from all over the world, saying that there's nothing to talk about Nigeria. I cannot stop this video or end the video without giving a shout out to some Nigerian YouTubers that I've worked with, I've seen how, come on, we've talked together, and they have also changed the narratives in their own way. Kenneth Mwache is one of them. Kenneth Oga. My guy, you are doing well. I can't wait to meet you soon. Yeah, you know, as the leader. Yeah. So, Kenneth was in Ghana. He was one of those YouTubers that was in Ghana struggling. But at least Kenneth was in Ghana. He did not want to destroy his reputation with Nigeria. He did not want to spread negative things about Nigeria. So, he did what he could do in Ghana to survive by being positive on Ghana, which is very okay. I tell Nigeria YouTubers that if you don't want to speak good things about Nigeria, if you think that you don't see any good in Nigeria, and you want to speak good about Ghana and South Africa, feel free to speak good about Ghana and South Africa, but don't talk negative about your own country. Just be celebrating the Ghanaians, be celebrating the South Africans, but don't be negative about Nigerians. It will not change anything. You will still get their support, you will still get their love. Do you understand? It's as simple as that. So Kenneth Mwache, you're a brother, man, you're doing well. And of course, I'll give a special shout out to Gloria. I keep, I'm, you know, Gloria is my, is my girl, it's my girl, yeah. Gloria is this actually. This guy can lie. What do I expect from a man who would abandon his own country, a country that has numerous problems, to go talk about another country? Anyways, he talked about he's, he's the one that talked about the person. You know, I will not use my mouth to mention that person's name before they say, "Okay, you want to pull him down? You don't like your country men and women." So let me play you a video by by the same YouTuber that this guy Ajim said he was doing positive content in ghana for survivor now i see why you are quick to accuse other people of the same thing you guys accuse somebody of doing it for survivor so it is because of survivor for you for me 
why should I even explain myself survivor or passion? So we are going to take a look at the same, the same YouTuber that Ajim talked about that was in Ghana, was doing content for survivor. Now I understand why you guys are always quick to accuse some of us of doing it for survivor. What if that is not the case? I am a Southerner. I do not know how to survive by lying. I wasn't raised to be a coward as a Southerner. I was raised to, to speak. You see, very dark man. That is how a Southerner is. We don't care about money. You understand? It's not like we don't like money. But if not the money, go make me bow to you. Take it away. That is Southerner for you. So I don't know about other people you are talking about. But let's play the video or videos from the same person that Ajim talked about that he came to Ghana to use Ghanaians for survivor. Ajim said it, not me. Don't misquote me. But even if you do, what are you gonna do about that? <laughs> Nothing. So let's watch. So let's take a look at the say YouTuber that Ajim talked about. He is in Ghana right now, and let's see. <laughs> I want to show you guys the real nightlife in Accra, Ghana. Accra is where you find the best of the best nightlife in Africa. Did you hear that, my boy, Achim? The say YouTuber you talked about, you are lying about, is in Ghana. Now, I'm not saying you lied against him of doing it for Survivor because I wouldn't know if that if that is the case or not. But the same YouTuber that you lied, if you go on his channel, the highest viewed video on his channel, except he have taken them down, are from Ghana, followed by Kenya. These two countries, they kind of have a strong online presence that I didn't know about. I discovered while on the journey already doing content about Ghana, I could see people engaging with my content. I didn't know from the very beginning that a country, a country that is not so large in numbers could be so strong on the internet. I mean, positively, please. The same YouTuber, the same YouTuber you talked about, you lied about. Let me play his second video in Ghana. All right right now not before now he's back to ghana and he will say it with his mouth let's listen watch it live it feels so good to finally move to ghana you know ghana always feels like home so this is my first night in ghana after moving to ghana and a beautiful kitchen over here Wow! Hey! Man, I cry is beautiful, man. It's still so good to be back here, man. Signature apartment over there. Right, signature. Let me go closer so you guys can see very well. There you are, Jim, a loser. Have it! There you have it. So, bro, are you back here for Survivor or to love it? Should we just look at you like someone that would do anything to survive? If not, clear your name. Ajim has made an allegation against you that you are in Ghana for Survivor. You are doing the kind of videos you're doing in Ghana for Survivor. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the past, okay, of Kenneth. All right, the say YouTuber. I don't want to. I don't want to go back to the past. Kenneth is not my enemy, and I don't see him becoming one. Except if all of a sudden he wants it, you know, I'm always available. Otherwise, Kenneth is not my enemy. But it does not stop me from speaking the truth if I have to. Do you understand? So 
he didn't say it with his mouth. His best friend, Ajim, said it, that Kenneth is in Ghana for survival. So it's up to you to defend yourself or for the viewers to decide if that is true or not. Now, they said they do not have problem when you're promoting Ghana or South Africa or Kenya or any other country, but don't talk down on Nigeria, right? Who else remembered when I, Lillian, was very focused on the senior high schools in Ghana? I was on it. I was at the peak of it. Like I was doing Prempe College at Dizadel. Holy child. I was doing awards. I was doing colleges like Mfancy Pim, Wesley Girls, Accra Academy. I was doing all of these videos and I was passionate about them when this person here, Came up with this campaign. Let's watch the video together. Go and watch your fellow Nigerian YouTubers in, in Ghana and hear what they are saying about, about your country versus Ghana before you start saying nonsense. Forgetting that majority of these Nigerians in Ghana are just massaging your egos and pulling your legs to get views. You see Ghanaians praising you people, telling you, oh, you are doing well, bro. You are doing well, sis. Even though they know they will never, they will never endorse a Ghanaian the same way if we are speaking bad about their country. Nigerians are, Nigerians are, all of them now are, are, are rushing Ghana, Ghana past but because Ghana is and I'm not talking down on Ghana please don't get me wrong but this overhyping just to make your native country look bad how all, how all of Nigeria has moved to, to Ghana to go and school and I'm like, ha. <laughs> Ghanians let me just tell you these people are deceiving you <laughs> These people are deceiving you because they are just using you to, to earn a living, you know, massaging your ego, tickling you where to be doing you like this. <laughs> but if you do see a Nigerian in Ghana coming to school, that's one of the reasons. It's only in very rare cases that it is not one of these two reasons. This is the only reason why a Nigerian would, would resort to going to Ghana to school. That is just the truth. You think that Nigerian employers or maybe even universities you want to apply to maybe for, like, for a master's program after graduating from university in Ghana, you really think they will value your degree, your certificate from Ghana, more than Nigerian degree? You really think so? They value your degree from Ghana more than a Nigerian degree. Ha. These people, are, these people are just feeding you people Zobo. Hey, the Zobo is chilled. The Zobo is chilled and cold. Let me just tell you. Another thing I heard is... Uh, I can't stand that for long. I can't stand that video for long. You can see. If I talk, you people will say, oh, you have to be gentle. I am a Nigerian and Nigerians do not know the word gentle. You can see. I was focused on showcasing the incredible things in Ghana that Nigeria does not have. And if care is not taken, will never have. What did this woman do? She said there have been pressure on her to make a video about us in Ghana. Who else remember this video? I was so distracted when she made that video. I lost control. If you want to know how I lost my control, there's a video I did. If I can link it here, I did the video of Owas, that's Opokuware School at the Ashanti region. I, if you if you watch me in that video, you know that it was because of this woman. She didn't stop. She went on. She went on. She went on. I was focused on promoting Ghana, not promoting. I was busy trying to pepper them so that they will go and demand for their own rights. But they were busy bullying me and trying to stop me. Okay, you see a people like this, you see a country, a, a people. This one is actually a Nigerian, so I, I understand where this is coming from. This is how they used to intimidate you. I'm working on showcasing a school from Uganda, South Africa, Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria. Then you will get to know that there is nothing in my country. Basically, there is nothing in my country. There is nothing other than people like these bullies. Nigeria has a lot of bullies. They raise their kids to bully people. I don't want to be angry, but watching this woman's video as if you look like this woman, don't be mad. But seriously, if I look like this woman, I will frequent the gym. This woman, even the way she breathes, she's God forgive me. Okay. Not my thing to body shame people, but trust me, if I am like this woman, the amount of energy she puts into dragging people, bullying people, I will put it into going to the gym for so that I can be healthy. Forgive me. It's going to turn you off, but that is the game. You know, this game is hard. It's not for everybody. So basically, 
So how, what do they want? They don't want anything. They just want us to shut up and allow Nigeria. I don't know. What do these people want? What do they want? If they are not lying here, they are lying there. They are, who taught me how to sit down and drag people? Because I didn't know it before. Until I gym and your, your favorite YouTuber in Ghana who you love. The guy that you like. These two YouTubers taught me how to drag people. Because before now, I didn't know it. I didn't know that you could... You know, if you remember, then I was crying because these two people would drag me. This one, the other one being a Nigerian man, in their usual manners, they hate women. He used his, the power that he has in Ghana to, as a cover to drag me. While Ajim was busy dragging me for saying good things about Ghana, for going to Kwewu and showcasing Kwewu. What should I have done? That place can't be ugly, no matter how hard you try. My offense was that I posted a beautiful place in Ghana, Kwewu, Akosombo. It's not like I did anything. I said Nigeria was bad. Do you understand? So what do you guys want exactly? Lies upon lies. Just for what? Ajim is lonely at the moment. Because a lot of Nigerians are against him. They are mad. They are angry at him. People are suffering and you want us to keep quiet. Me and most of the Nigerians supporting this guy are the Yahoo boys in Ghana, South Africa, wherever, the drug dealers. And of course, selfish Nigerians in diaspora. Once a Nigerian get opportunity to go outside where they steady power supply where there's where the medical system is working where they can easily get jobs they eat they send to their families they don't care about what happens back home i care I can decide to live in Ghana for as long as i want enjoy all the basic amenities here do you understand and maybe from time to time if i have a little extra i can send to my family but what about my neighbors what about the kids of my neighbors when you guys are ready, you know what to do. But you forcing me to promote. I hope you love this promotion that I'm giving you. I'm promoting you. I hope you love it. That is that for today. Because the light is gone. Yeah. So I hope you love the promotion that I'm giving Nigeria. There is nothing to promote in Nigeria. You guys are forcing me. The other time you say I'm not promoting Nigeria. I went to showcase the secondary schools in Nigeria. All of you were rolling on the floor, crying blood, threatening my life that you're going to do this. You're going to, what do you want? Why are you people so unwise? What is the problem? What is the problem? A Nigerian would just be okay where they are, just comfortable and just, eh, it's okay for me now, they UK. You see them make videos of, hey, uh, the, the highest viewed video on a typical Nigerian channel is lifestyle channel, please. Is when a Nigerian is moving from Nigeria to the UK, to Canada, to America. Do you know why? Because people want to see the process that they used so that they can also run away. I want to go back home, basically. Can't you get it? So I want this whole thing to be put in place so I can go back home. What is this? Ajim Abina Aja. Ajim Magza. Ajim said Gloria is coming back to betray herself. I wouldn't say she bet to betray anyone because there is no one to, no, nobody forced her to say what she said. So that Ajim is, uh, Ajim said Gloria is coming back to betray herself and me here waiting patiently for Gloria to do so. As long as Gloria do not be come back to talk about my host country, because this season I'm going to use you guys for the views. As long as she don't come back to talk down on my host country or on me, I don't have a problem with that. If she wants to eat her words, hmm? she won't chop her words back. Now she sabi. As long as I say, you know, do I'm near Ghana or me. Because me, now I did this season when I go use Zona like this. I'm going to use all of you for the views. Now you understand what it means. They are not, they, these are not the type of content I enjoy, I enjoy doing. I love to do those videos that are unique. But these ones here yeah, are regular. They're just like what you guys have been doing. But let's roll together. Do you get it? <laughs> Google fire on a shower. Google fire on a. I'll see you guys in another one. Doo -doo. <laughs>